trying to remember. <laughs> you can see through a tree out of the window. Yeah. But I don't think they have outside lights. No. I don't remember. I went from Tank Tank and Drive. The tree is 18 years old. Yeah. So. Cool. I don't know. People, I don't know. Come on in. It's a bit comfy. No, no, no. You got any one of the seats you like? Oh, it's a pain if you don't have to. And I don't really watch anyway. <laughs> I'm here every Monday. You got to get a life woman. I noticed I noticed when I came in I looked down and I said, Up, oh, same chair, it's got glitter all over it. Oh no. I wonder how it got glitter. Because I'm covered with it. Oh you, it's you. Yeah, oh, so you're spreading glitter, you spread it's spreading quality chair. Every well that bow. Yeah, I'm sure three of the ribbons have glitter on it. Yes, awesome. So it's all over the place. I'm just yeah, 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 yeah. totally. Yeah, we oh, like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's dropping her production. Yeah, exactly. She's getting so. They want to do one, and then the town does one. Oh, the town does one, but I've been doing mine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they look similar. So I'm like, did you go? And now you got like. Yeah, yeah. 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 you're production. That'll be the day. You will know. You will. You will see two cameras. Two of our cameras on at the deliberation. At least two. No, we have. We personally will be running two cameras for the delivery sessions. Well, I didn't say the highways. From two different angles. Okay. Let's make that. Yeah, it's on. See if we can take a punch. Well, I'm taking my first day of the office. All right, everyone. It's six thirty. I'm going to call to order the December seventeenth meeting of the Rollins for. Rollins for select board. The first, the first uh, item on the agenda is the approval of minutes for December 10th. Do people have a chance to read it? Okay. Did. Any additions, edits, corrections? No. Yep. Okay. And by consensus, we will adopt those. Uh, community input. All right. So the first thing we have on the agenda is Chad Roberg from. Uh, Avatar, what are up to? We have some questions, concerns, comments about the um, uh, contract for 2019. All right. Now, last week I was a little more animated, but I got some information beforehand. I think he's had a conversation with Caroline, so I'm a little less concerned. I'm concerned about something different now. So, um, We depend on volunteers a lot for some of what we do, some of what doesn't get done, I guess. And it's my understanding that we had a former chair of the board that did a lot of the assessing input and then stopped at some time we don't know when, right? Uh, it was right around 2015. 2015, okay, so about... Since Jansen? Yeah, so <laughs> but you didn't know that he had stopped. So there's some errors and things we're, we're, we're finding and catching up and doing some corrections now? or No, it's more or less we didn't know if the town was going to be depending on us or if someone else was going to be taking the spot from the town. Okay. So a lot of what Ed was doing was, um, you know, for new construction, he was taking all the permits and attaching them to the cards, mm -hmm. and then we would get the cards and right. go out in the field. So now what we're doing is we're coming in and... Right putting the permit information into the system right. and doing that ourselves. So that's one of the things. Okay. Um, he also handled land use change tax himself. Mm -hmm. So if a property was in current use and it needed to come out, and he stopped that. So he would do that or something. Well, he, yeah, he just, he just he was, stopped. Yeah. Okay. Um, so those were some of the things that we kind of started to pick up on. Um, okay. Once you start, yeah, you start stop. catching things and you're like, oh, okay, so obviously yeah. it's yeah. not getting done. Okay. So that's where some of the errors that we've been, it looks like folks have come in and there's been some issues with um, current use. So I was like, well, currently the land use change tax would have been computed for things coming out, right, with current use? Uh, yes, but well, I guess I would be concerned about what errors. There should be any errors. Well, there was there were properties gone. There weren't there properties well, in the last year or two that were should have been assessed at or weren't assessed at current use, and some that were. And 
I think we've caught that, and, and it happens when land transfers. Okay. So it's, it's kind of an ongoing thing that the current use files are out of date. They often don't contain maps, which they okay. should. Right. Um, and that's just an old problem that we should work with Avatar to continue to update. And you're not the only town. I mean, every town is playing catch up when it comes to current use. Um, it, it, it's just because, you know, it was something that was, you know, handed down by the states, right. like, this is what we're going to do. And then, you know, 10 years later, it's like, oh, we should probably get maps right. of where the current use is. So I guess some of my confusion was before where um, there was an increase in, in the contract. I'm going to give you both the chance to talk, sorry. But there, there was an increase in, in the contract charge because it was for some of it was for additional hours. Mm -hmm. I guess I was understanding that the additional hours is because I just assumed that you were the assessing company we hired that you were doing this all along, and that wasn't true. Now, I, I know this now, um, but then it stopped, and so someone has to do it, and I would assume that the experts that we hired would be the folks that would be doing it instead of um, folks that come and go. You mm -hmm. know? Uh, so I guess that's what part of my confusion was. So it was really a, well, I don't know if this is some. I, I don't think assessing is should be done by anybody unless you're an assessor. That's my opinion. I mean, there must be things that you have to know. <laughs> but is there some things that our tax collector can do if we give her additional hours that would stop? I don't know all of these particulars, but I know she works very closely with you, mm -hmm. correct? Yep. Yep. So is it something that some of those things that uh, the previous black board member did, can she do? Yep, so I think I've kind of gotten with her on the, like, the thing that took up a lot of hours was actually putting in the permits. So coming in and going through all the permits for the year, putting them in the system right. with the correct parcel. Because, I mean, ideally, you'd be doing that as you get them, so that, because there's a, there's a, basically a button assessing and you click it, and it pulls all the property things on the flag. Okay. Um, and that's kind of what Ed was doing for us before. Okay. Um, I've shown Andrew to do that, so I think this year will be the first year we test to see how it's going. Um, okay. So we usually pull that report right around April, a little bit before, because uh, we want to go to the properties as close to April first, right, as we can. Right. Because um, that that changes the assessment to something with a little value to it that's being mm -hmm. done on a building permit, and that's right. why you need to do that. Right. And April first is that year right. cutoff. So what's on the property on April first is what you are taxed for for the whole year. Gotcha. Um, so that's why we want to go, especially on like new construction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so one of the things that I think. Andrea and I, uh, I started realizing why she was so concerned about it, and it was just something she wasn't aware of. Um, when they were doing Scouts Landing, she was seeing homes being finished and bought for, you know, in September, and they're paying, you know, the three, four that they're valued in, but we're only assessing them for forty grand, and it's because what existed there on April first was a foundation; it wasn't right. the whole house. Um, so, you know, April first is a cutoff. Whatever is there. On April first is what's assessed for the rest of the year. Right. So this you can't go, you can't change that at all. The Not rest until of the year. next year. Right. Oh, okay. That makes more sense now. So. Okay. All right. Um, so we um, and I also I and just to help you clarify some of those changes, I also because Carolyn had told me what some of the concerns were. Yeah. I, and I look back. So in 2013, 2014. Um, we had contracted or estimated that those years were going to use about six days of our time, right. uh, and that's what that value was for okay. for the contract. Um, and we were using closer to eight, okay. which is why in 2015 you saw a probably from 14 to 15 you saw a contract that went up a little bit, right? Because instead of basing it off six days, we based it off of eight, okay. Um, so and then 15 you were still under the assumption that Ed was doing the entering. No, so in 15 we thought we could do everything for eight. And okay. we pretty much, I mean, we kind of stayed close to that 15. We did almost exactly 8. It was of that. We used 7.96, and we contracted for 8. Um, and we contracted for 8 all up until 2018. Um, but in 16, 17, and 18, we used closer to 11. Okay. Um, 16 was heavy. It was 12.67 days. But then it was 10.5 days in 17. And then 2018, we've used 11 up until November 30th. Okay. Um, I don't think I've, I've only been here maybe a few hours in December, so it's a pretty close ballpark. So that's what this new contract, the reason it is more than the previous, is because instead of eight days, mm -hmm. we've estimated on 11. Okay. okay. Would that include coming, to having certain dedicated days a month when you were, we talked about you coming to town for like a one day out of the month or something like that, instead of a dedicated office hours? 
Yeah, so Carolina kind of touched on that. So the, the 11 days are really, I, I kind of use the example sometimes, you can use it for whatever you like. Mm -hmm. um, it's 11 days for you know, filling up what we need to do for assessing. Okay. Um, so I told her we can use it for, if you really want to stretch it out, we can do four hours every once a Friday, or and as we get closer to the end of the year, if we have a lot left, we can increase it. Okay. Um, but it's for you to use me, I mean, it's, it's almost like, I don't want to say it's like an employee, but you can use me for that full 11 hours. Sometimes when I'm there for the thing, have me take ACs out of the windows, that was the example I used. For yeah, we would rather you do. <laughs> yes, it's a bad example. Yeah. Yeah. Taking the ACs out of the window, but okay. Is there any way that we can get a monthly status of what, where our hours are, or how many hours we are used, so we know? Yep. Uh, on the if bills. If something comes up that we can. Yeah, on the bills, there there will be. It usually will give you the hours and what we use it for. So anytime you see hours on our bill, that is going towards your contract days. And how many times a year? I'm new here. Just so yeah, like, you know, how many times a year do we get a bill from you? It's monthly. They're monthly. They're monthly, yes. Yeah. So is it something that we keep a spreadsheet, Caroline, so we yeah. know where we stand on the amount of hours left over after he's done work? And it would be typically on the bills when it notes a half an hour, an hour, how much time that he or somebody else spends. It says something like abatements, but if we can make, if we can continue that or make sure that it says something that denotes kind of a category of the activity so we can track yeah. what kinds of activities you're spending most of your time on, that would be helpful. 11 days or 11 hours? It's 11 days, so 88 hours. 88 hours. Okay. And if, do, would it be helpful to get a history? Because I think we track that. That would be oh, yeah. fabulous, thank helpful. you, yes. Understanding now, I think. Then, yep. um, okay. Drag it all the way over here, but oh, I'm um, just Rochester, so I'm trying to think. Is anything else? What am I forgetting? Other than you get asked online. Anything you can think of? Is there a way, Chad? Do you think that we could keep some kind of um, mutual document that kind of keeps? Um, one of the things that I'd like to see <laughs> is a way to track ongoing projects that are kind of out there that are not immediately um, relevant to a deadline, but we want to make sure that they don't fall off the radar so that, you know, we can sort of both look at the spreadsheet that sees where you are with a certain thing. Yeah. Well, I could do that. For example. Well, so what I'm saying is, for example, like land use change tax, we know it needs to happen, but it doesn't have to happen right away. Um, we have some, there are some properties that are owned by the town that aren't really owned by the town for, um, including perhaps, and we're still working on this, the water district. Separately, the town um, cemetery between um, General John and Silver Street is currently listed as one big property owned by the town, but we know that it's not. It's owned, it's at least four or five parcels. So he's working on breaking that down and it's going to take some time. Um, but we want to make sure that we don't lose sight of it. And there may be other properties like that. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Because they're not taxable. At one time, they were just put in town of Rollins. Right. Mm -hmm. The diocese of Portland would argue that that's their cemetery in mm -hmm. the diocese of yeah. Manchester. So, it's I mean, not really our, there should be in the tax card. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was trying to tell you. We could easily fill up the 11 days, I think. I don't see there being issues. You can always find something in assessing to tackle, whether it's during use or mm -hmm. trying to figure out why this property was merged, you know, however many years ago. Okay. I know, yeah, that would be helpful. <laughs> making, sure our, making sure our tax cards and maps are accurate. I mean, everyone will be yeah. grateful for that. So, um, what else do I want to ask? Uh, um, oh, um, going to the Board of uh, Tax and Land Appeal, or maybe I said that, Land and Tax Appeal. Um, is that representative of the 11 days as well, or is that? Uh, I believe I'll have to check on more on that. I think that includes handling abatements. Okay. I'm not entirely sure on the BTLA cases. Okay. All right. I didn't know if, that was, if it's additional or... I mean, I think it's billed as CA, but if okay. it goes over, I think it jumps to an hourly at that point, but okay. I will check. Okay. All right. I know we've had a number of appeals, but I don't know if any of them will actually make it. Uh, we do. We've got five for Woods Run, and there's one for oh, Silver, Street. Silver Street, and one for the Shaw's oh, yes. 
Um, yeah, 851 Main Street, mm -hmm. I believe it's something. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we could, yeah. I'm sure we can easily fill all those hours, but I, I yeah. want to make sure of that. I'm hoping, I'm hoping days, rather. with sales we can kind of take some of those as withdrawals, but okay. All right. Anything else for Chad this evening? No. All right, well, thank you for coming down. No I appreciate it. Thank you. I was supposed to say that we're going to have another one. All right. Apartment A. So, uh, is the building inspector coming in tonight? He is coming, not until 7 or after 7. The squeaking noise? Yeah. I just assumed it was a rat or something in the walls. Or something. <laughs> it's an old building, it's a mouse probe. Or a squirrel. They're <laughs> prolific this year. <laughs> uh, highway is not here yet. Oh, George, you are. The guy right there. <laughs> George is not here. <laughs> Sorry. George is he's he's talking my glasses off for a second, George. Sorry. Come on up. Come on up, please. <laughs> George was going to be here. <laughs> so, run where you should go to. What do you have for us tonight? The squeaking stuff when we came up, so that's a good thing. Uh, two things, actually. We'd like to be able to, when we have some money left, Yes, true. Is we want to build the bins for the recycling. Okay. Not the wall, not the roof structure, just the walls so we can separate. Okay. We're going to use Jersey Berries and put an eight foot wall on top of it so it's the same height as what the. Yeah. And we're looking, it's not going to cost 2000 We want to go up to in case we need to go up to $2,000. Okay. Actually, the milk and building supplies. I don't believe it's going to come anywhere near that. Why don't we start? We'll talk about it. Uh, can I'll you move. Still, can I just ask, can you still move pay the bills? I thought yes, the yes, bills. yes. This is the last opportunity. Dad, why? I'll move purchase order 1558 to middle to building supplies in the amount of $2,000 for building materials for the second bins. Second. Okay. Do we have the Jersey barriers currently? We do. We, uh, so we actually is, wiped out. Sligo Road and uh, we took a few took those down. Okay. So this is really just for the actual lumber? Yeah. Okay. And what are they associated? Yeah. Correct. Okay. Well, our thought <laughs> out is to build, like I said, do the Jersey berries at the bottom so you can't damage it with the, when you're going in with a skid steer and the walls will be on top of that. So we can, when we go and bring it, put it in the baler, we can go in with the machine and grab it. So it'll just be a Open. The, right. We'll have a little one. container. Right. So like it's, it's a stationary dumpster. Yeah. We couldn't do it with a dumpster because climbing in and out of it is going to damage them. Yep. So there's some value for them if they decide they want to get rid of some. We're going to have some dumpsters hanging around. Yep. So. What? You're talking, are you talking about dumpsters? Containers. Are you talking the containers? Or weren't you going to do that with your tires on a temporary basis? Oh, yeah. We're going to keep. Oh. We're not going to. No. There'll be some that. If we get too many hanging around, there's no sense keeping them. Okay. You know, there's a value to them. So, okay. so I, I maybe I'm not understanding that. So, will there be actual containers? No. Okay. These we can't use the containers because every time you go in and out with the machine, you've got to damage no the containers. Damage the container. That's right. So these thought are going to be right on the cement. They they're going to be right on the, the ground. Okay. It's going to act like you know, and we'll have doors that we can open when we want to empty it. Are there? Is there concrete underneath? Yes. Yeah. It's where the, where the dumpsters sat for the recycling dumpsters. Okay. There's a pad there. There is a pad there, currently. Okay. So it's, it's, it's like two sections would be 10 feet deep and two sections would be 20 feet deep. You'll need the bigger sections for the aluminum and the paper. Uh, the, uh, so the we, can be a small do we see this as a long term fix for it or just a temporary? That's, a, that's permanent. And then if you decide that we want to put a roof structure on it, we can go right over the top of that. Keep the snow and stuff out of it. So the wood yeah. are just the walls between the sections. There's no, that doesn't include a roof. Right. No roof here. Okay. This is going to be no no paper though, because you're going to you're going to put the paper, paper going inside. In, inside. Okay. With the kind of wood. Yeah. Okay. So let's say in a year we go back to single stream. Yeah. I know that's not going to happen, but. How easy is this to undo? I assume it's, it's going to be bolted on. We can take it. Okay. You know, Walls we could take down if we had to. You wouldn't really have to. You could do single stream and every single one of the bins. Yeah. 
Yeah, we can do it the same way. We just definitely have to be filled. You know, you wouldn't be able to put a dumpster there that's be able to haul off. You'd have to be oh, out. oh, because then those chambers are held off. I got you. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. I think the odds of uh, cool. us being able to go back to single stream will put us in the yard. So, a shower stall and associated materials up to $1,000 either at FWF or Home Depot. I'll second that. Can I just ask Caroline a question? Are you probably going to ask the same question I'm going to. We do we have the funds and stuff? I know we... Oh, there's... Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Well, I know we take the bailer that's out and... Okay. So was this something that you were anticipating on doing next year? Is that correct? Yeah, we, yeah, we were going to look into doing one. We, we, we got talking about it, you know, and they, everyone said, you know, it would be a good idea to have a shower here in case, you know, somebody gets Actually, even just to keep it, wake up. You know. but, what it wasn't written in as a shower in the budget. We, 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 All right, I'm trying to think of what we had in there for, um, I don't have it with me anyway. Across the hall, but what we had written in for uh, taking out yeah. projects like that for building maintenance. Building maintenance, we have more than projects in there, so there's what that's still mm -hmm. like that the five thousand or whatever it is for next year. If we mm -hmm. Any other questions? No. Purchase order fifteen fifty nine has been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. 
You have an eye wash stations and all of that stuff too, right? Yeah, there's an eye wash station on the sink. Uniforms, equipment, training time, things like that. Okay, because that's what the town will expend 
anything that we put in other than salary is is that, that gathered that salary. dollar. That includes salary. But why would you pay that salary if you work? It's it's always been because they agreed to work here, and if they decide to leave to go to another police department, it's different if they decide police work is wasn't for them, mm -hmm. and they're going to go become a landscape. Mm -hmm. But if they decide that they get their certification, whatnot from Tom Rawlson, and they say, well, now I'm going to go to another job because better benefits, better pay, or better conditions, mm -hmm. or whatever, um, we expend that amount to train that person. So yeah, okay, and to equip them, so we're entitled to to receive that back. So well, after three years, we would have recouped our costs. Correct. Yeah, but we're not paying for him to go to the academy, so you wouldn't count that, right? But no, we're counting training time. Training time. This is past. In house training. Time. In house training. Got it. Okay. I neglected to mention the name. His name is Mitchell Brooks. Uh, and he lives in uh, Kittery. As I mentioned, he is uh, certified. Uh, went to the academy uh, in September of 2017. Uh, formerly a police officer with the city of Rochester. Formerly a Security officer for Wentworth Douglas Hospital. He comes uh, recommended by uh, several folks. Any questions for the chief? Or any other discussion? I'd like a motion to hire uh, Mr. Brooks at the rate of 2115. Uh, I'll move that we um, extend an offer to Mitchell Brooks for 2115 an hour. All right, I'll second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right. Sign so here and if we let Mr. Brooks know that we'd like him to come on for us, please. And I'll then sign it so you can kind of read it. <laughs> <laughs> and sometime in January, one of your meetings will have him come in and do some great and whatnot. Thank you. Thank you. So, congratulations. Thank you. The next item. Pachico Valley Humane Society. Uh, they sent over the contract the beginning January 1st of 2019, uh, expiring December 31st, 2019. Uh, the, basically, the difference between this and Canon Chaos is we have no annual fee now to Pachico Valley, and um, Canon Chaos was charging us 50, or charging us or the dog owner 50 dollars a day. Pachico Valley charges 50 dollars for the first day and 30 dollars every day thereafter. What was the, it was like a $500 it was annual, a $500 fee, annual, fee, annual fee just for the contract. Right. Um, uh, I know we had talked about this briefly about a month ago. I have already notified the Canine Chaos that we're probably going to be going to Pachico Valley as of uh, January 1st. So I have a contract here that would need a signature from the board. Do, do both of them have a 24 hour service? Yes. yes. They provide you with a key, and then you go in the back door and put the dogs in a certain area within oh. the building. Oh, okay. So you, you're able to do right. mm -hmm. yeah. After hours. And the reason we left the Chico recently was because they were more than the $500 canine was. Right. Well, what happened was when the canine started charging them more than $500, they were left the Chico. The Chico went, uh oh. <laughs> and so we'll get rid of our fee, you know, but the ones going back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had some of those administrative issues that the Canine Society for a very long time. Yeah, at one time they wanted to charge us twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. And he said you know, two or three dogs a day in there. Yeah, and yeah. And that's what they said. Well we'll have to buy it. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, all right. Um, uh, how about a motion to uh, go with a with a year long contract with uh Chico Valley I make a motion that we accept the contract for the American, um, for the annual shelter service agreement with Chico Valley Humane Society. Second that. All those favor say aye. 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 All right. That's all that I have for you. Anything for us? Um, did you have a, a chance to connect with, um, well, Tom's here, with the, um, the nuisance ordinance for the housing standards? I haven't uh, received any feedback from Tom yet on it, so. 
No, I haven't reviewed it yet. Okay. okay. All right then. Well, that answers that question. So we don't have to talk about that. Um, and then we have. Oh, we already did that. So. No, I guess not. Just to say, Merry Christmas. And thank you for. All right, thank you. All your work. Merry Christmas. Thank Happy you. Yeah. I'll see you back tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think. Yeah, the pills are going down Sunday. Probably. We can meet in the office. It's not going to be All right, Tom, come on up. Yes, sir. It justifies. Oh, well, there. Yeah. Back in non public, right? Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. We'll be quick, though, I think. Yes. I'm not sorry about that, Tom. <laughs> no, no, we'll be quick. All right. All right. Um, where are we? Junkyard. All right. Let's start at the, the fun stuff, I guess. So we saw your letter. Yeah. Did everyone have a chance to take a look at yep. Tom's letter? I had a question about it, though. It's in the board folder. Oh, That's even better. I'm not going to split this one. Yes. And it was, oh, look at that. I was right on top, even better. <laughs> it's like, what are we doing? Okay. Uh, please be advised that the Rollins for Select Board has made the following determinations. Uh, I can inform a grandfather to use accordingly the board will resume considerations regarding the renewal of your application. Um, weren't, we, weren't we saying that uh, it was conditioned upon them going to the uh, zoning and planning board to resolve the towing issue. Right, that's a separate uh, issue. That's number two. I know, but I've read that. It's, it's confusing to me, and, and I'm not apparently in the know. So, is it going to be confusing to the person that guesses and doesn't understand? I guess that's why I'm, I'm asking. Well, I I did call Mo and explain what was going on. Okay. Um, and because of the input from the staff attorney at municipal. We're doing it this way. That's when, right. <coughs> that answers my question, then. The attorney said this is the way we should do it, then. Yeah. I'm not so going to even looked it up. He was very, okay. very good. Very generous with his time. He looked it up okay. online as far as the businesses, you know, yeah. the two separate ones. And yeah, but uh, the operator understands that what he needs to do, then. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. Then I say, well, we should sign it and send it off, then. And I gave the, uh, the 30 days, because I mean, after so many years, it would be kind of unreasonable for us to. All right. Yeah. I think, yeah, it kind of threw me for a loop at first, but. I, I do. I think you're right. They, under, they, they understand that they have to completely move their trucks off of that property, right? Well, that's the understanding. Right? Well, my suspicion is when he gets this, mm -hmm. he's going to go to his attorney, mm -hmm. and then they're going to file an appeal, and that will that will stay all action on the town's part until it's resolved. So that's so he is able to do that business. And, yeah. and be against yes. until it's resolved. Yeah. Well, that could be like forever. <laughs> well, let's hope not, but... <laughs> but he's not, he's not following under the, the rules that we have, though. I mean, it's, he hasn't get, gotten permission to have that business there. Correct. Right. But if but he files an appeal, it yeah. stops. Yeah, because of the fact he's been there, he said 17 years. I don't... But, but it's been there, she said it's been there a long time. He's probably owned the, the junkyard for 17 years, but I don't know if the pass has been there for that long. I don't know. Well, that's the other thing. I mean, we can't prove one way or another. I mean, all those been over a decade. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm sure David Ocko could tell you at the time, day, and when they started. <laughs> yeah. More than likely. Right. Well, regardless if it's 13 years or 17 years. Yeah, it's still, yeah. It's still yeah. longer than it should have been going on without following the proper procedures. Right. So. All right, so I'd say we'll have Tom sign that and send it off then to him so we can get the mm -hmm. ball rolling. Maybe he can appeal and then we'll just turn it over to our legal counsel. And they yep. We have to follow the proper procedures, so. Um, can we go to the next subject? Of course. Oh, okay, so. Oh, I've got news about this too, but you go ahead. <laughs> the, the, um, the trailer on Rollins Road has installed, camper. camper has installed two huge antennas. So I suspect they are living there. Wow. Well, uh, have you not seen that one? I mean, it's, oh, so oh, it's going oh, up yes. towards, yes. yeah. So they've mm -hmm. installed plastic over the windows, I'm assuming, to winterize it. Right. Um, to which I thought, well, maybe they just put that over to protect it for the winter time. You know, just give it sure. the benefit of the doubt. Now the lights on. 
I, I, I saw it last night. There were lights on, clearly, and his car is parked um, with it. So, right. well, but the one on Prospect Street, the cars are no longer there, and yeah. it does not appear to be. Yeah, I went by that last night too. Yeah, they have a tarp over the door. Yes, mm -hmm. so I don't think they're coming in. Now but the, but. the antennas that are sticking up. Well, the clearly, there were people in it. I mean, I could They're see the shadows of people inside it last night. I drove by. I wasn't driving by to check it out. I just sure. saw it. I was like, oh, that's awful bright. Like, oh, clearly they're in there. So, All right, we'll start the ball rolling. Okie dokie. And was there anything else that we had to. Hopefully not. Anything no, because the other one's in the hands of the lawyer, right? The one on the road. 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 112 Rollins. Yeah. Road. Yeah. Road. Yeah. Road. 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 Yeah. Perfect. All right. Can't think of any other. Uh, is there anything? Any others that we talked about, Caroline? That I would have, we would have put her on the list earlier today. No. What about um, Foundry Street? Oh, I don't know. Have you done anything? Gone down Foundry Street. Of the hill across from the uh, the community gardens. Four or five. Four or five unregistered there. vehicles there. I parked up that. on the grass. Right. I forgot that. Right. I'll check that out. I don't have the I don't have the address on the board. I don't either. It's, it's the last house though on the road before you get to I wrote it down last week and forgot about it. I can't think Plus of I'm only five hours a week, so yeah. I don't want to um, It's not as bad as the others, so I saw the others were more of a priority. We make friends everywhere we go, so yeah. any, I can't think of any other properties, but we'll yeah. let you know if she will complain. So. Sure. All right. Is that it? Well, thank you, Tom. Merry Christmas. You're welcome. Happy New Year. We'll see you soon. We'll see you. Thank you for all your good work this year, too. My pleasure. All right. Welfare. Sorry about that. It's okay. Well, yes, welfare. But before we go into the public, I just want to say out loud that Tom spent a good deal of time helping someone who had a household problem that perhaps didn't meet code and oh. it led to not having heat oh, yeah. and it was a bit of a dire situation oh. and he straightened it out. So oh, well, thank you, Tom. I thank wanted you. to let you know because there are things that don't fall under your general mm -hmm. um, operational knowledge and oh, well, so, thank you for helping them. Yeah, he does. Now the time you're going to be without heat. You're so. welcome. No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, yes. We need to go to non-public session? Yes. All right, I need a motion to go motion into non-public session. Motion to go into non-public session. Second. For, for purposes of welfare. Protection. Welfare. Yes. Seconded. Moved and seconded. Roll call, Denise. Yes. Miles. Yes. Mike. Yes, we are about. So, we need a motion in case number 2015-020. Alright, a motion that we um, allocate to the Eighty-nine yeah. for fuel assistance. And seconded. Okay. Motion has been made and seconded. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. All right. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great night. You too. I think that's all the fire chief didn't come in, right? Okay. Uh, all the department heads for tonight. All right. Moving right along to administration. So for town meeting, we have a couple of things we need to talk about. Um, we have warrants. There are a few things we need to one thing we should take up tonight. So we have, do we have the avatar contract? I just need to do the dollar amount. It's the reevaluation um, um, warrant article. So every, um, every year, every five years, the town um, properties are, have to go through a reevaluation. And so we don't have to pay all at once. It's like between seventy and $80,000. We save a little bit, just like at home when you want to uh, purchase something large. We try to save ahead and get at the right dollar amount. I think it was on this. I think it's on this one. Right so the total of, for everything is at the end of the. The four years at this point will be eighty thousand seven hundred and twenty. So we divide that by four. So it's twenty twenty thousand one hundred eighty dollars is what we should be saving for the next four years um, to pay for the eventual. Uh, 
reevaluation that we are required by statute to do every five years. So, if we get a motion, I'll put the motion on the floor and we can talk about it some more if we want. We need a motion to uh, fund a warrant article relative to the reevaluation fund at the amount of $20,180. Um, I'll make that motion that we fund the reevaluation fund with $20,180. All right. Do you want to indicate that's for the next four years? Well, no, you, are you just being to do it every year? Yeah. Okay, I'll second that. Okay, so the motion is moved and seconded. So I, I'll repeat it just so everyone understands. The total amount for the five years of the contract at the end of those five years, we're, we're in year four because well, we haven't finished yet, but we're already in within a year. Um, would be eighty thousand. I forgot already. Eighty thousand two hundred and seventy. Now what I just said. Seven hundred and twenty. Thank you. Yeah, eighty thousand seven hundred and twenty. So if we divide that by four, um, it would be twenty thousand one hundred and eighty. So at the end of the, the four years, we will have enough money to uh, to fund the reevaluation at the full amount. Is there any uh, other discussion? We're ready to vote on the amount to go into that Warren article. All those in favor say aye. 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 aye opposed? All right. So the next is that it's going to be, there is a suggestion that we we place on the warrant a recreation, I forgot to put revolving, revolving funds, I think, um, is at the request of the uh, recreation committee, mm -hmm. basically so they can have, um, if they have money, to go into a non lapsing fund. Just if like their that. income exceeds their expenses, it would not offset taxes, it would go into the committees. Right. Which um, we're not saying it's going to automatically happen, but we're willing to put it on the warrant. Mm -hmm. You have a few details we need to figure out with um, Carolina about wording, right? Okay. We don't, I don't think we're ready to vote on it tonight. Okay, that's fine. Um, cool. I don't have the wording. I think that's what she said. She wanted to work with you. Okay. So. I said, sure, you can work with Denise. I'd love for you to do that. You can work on the agenda. Um, okay. Leave it on the agenda. And That's what I thought we would do. Week. I just wanted it on here so we didn't lose sight of it. Mm -hmm. And then there's the uh, police station town hall. You're, but you all were meeting mm -hmm. tomorrow night to mm -hmm. to finalize what you're going to send to us um, for a proposal? Or, yep. Or if you're going to send us a proposal. Yep. Maybe, yep. Whatever you're going to yep. decide. Okay. And hopefully they'll have some recommendations of the repurpose of this building. Okay. All right. So we will look forward to hearing that, and then we have budget as a um, as a, our weekly placeholder. If there's any updates as to um, we have a budget well, we, this week. Right? Yeah, we're I'm presenting the town side of it, so I need to work with Caroline make sure I have it all. Yeah. Um. So. Is there anything you need from? Well, you from all can me? come and watch me. Wednesday night. <laughs> <It's amazing. laughs> But if you can make it, that would be great. If not, okay. <coughs> but right. um, that is Wednesday. Okay. It's six thirty. Six thirty. Okay. Have we had any? Uh, I, we've sent the. Um, is there anything else to say about the budget for now? Okay. Um, the um, budget for the secretary uh, position is still posted. I know we sent. Um, we had two. Um, two folks from out of town that sent in. Resumes of sorts mm -hmm. um, that weren't terribly complete, but yeah. we turned those over to John Ordway, mm -hmm. and John, um, I don't think was all as it wasn't as impressive. We, we weren't impressed either, but we thought we'd forward them on to him. And I don't know if you he, he didn't seem like he wanted to take like action that. on them. They mm -hmm. weren't. Um, it seemed like I mean, I, I don't know, it seemed like they might have be, been folks that were um, completing. Um, Requirements for job searches, um, like through the uh, Department of Employment Security. It mm -hmm. doesn't say that, but given the lack of, of any, any kind of qualifications yeah. for mm -hmm. for the position, I mean, it's not like it's. We, we need someone who can can understand the conversation and take notes, but it didn't. It, it was very lacking. It wasn't. They weren't complete. Let's just say that. But we thought we'd send them on to him because we didn't have anyone else. Mm -hmm. so. But it didn't, seem, it didn't seem interested either. So 
I think we're still looking for someone. What's happening in lieu of having someone in this position? Unfortunately, John is having, yeah. John and Bill have been, um, uh, and he, Bill's been gone the last couple of meetings, so John is, I mean, he records them on his telephone and then he yeah. works three or four hours transcribing them at night, so you know, and having them. It's hard to do it when you're... Oh, no. It's, what's yeah, that? it's really hard to do. Yeah, it really is. I can't is. participate in the conversation. Well, that's it. And he's the chair. Yeah, so, you know, right. it's hard. I, I don't know how he's so doing he's it, to be honest. So he's recording them and then doing it. Well, he records it on his them. phone, and then he takes some wow. notes on his computer what, during the meeting itself. But it's, okay. it's not an well, easy thing. We should be paying him. We should. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. So. <laughs> but yes, I mean, he's doing it, but it's not something he wants to continue to yeah. do on top of trying to, you know, okay. and coming on up to the What's delivery that? sessions and stuff. I mean, he shouldn't be doing it. He's conscious. Okay, so we're going to need to send out another request to folks. Yeah. All right, send out another town wide email. And uh, I'll get the original draft that we had and send that off again. Okay, so we have next on the agenda we have the Avatar contract uh, to sign. So um, Chad was a, a little more uh, was a, uh, earlier in the day. I guess he had a conversation with Caroline. Was a little more. Uh, more upfront about uh, the lack of, uh, of what sort of the, the, the when we used to have a select board member that was doing this and doing a very fine job at it um, and then to, who just sort of stopped and didn't tell anyone he stopped so um, he was a little more okay, hedging his best tonight I think of being a little more but nice how about that it person but person know how to assess a building oh I don't know I'm not even getting into that but um, well, that's it, what I'm but it just stopped. The bigger problem was it just stopped. stopped. Yeah. And so they thought it was still going on, and then well, I, I don't know how we lied. The, mm -hmm. the, uh, the two remaining members didn't it's know whether he was doing it or not doing it. Mm -hmm. was doing it. Mm -hmm. I just assumed that the assessing company we paid did it. But anyways, mm -hmm. so that stopped, and then he's playing catch up now, trying to find some, you know, find some of the errors that were there. That's my word, not his, but uh, I would consider them errors. Um, so. That kind of that, that explains why we were using why they saw an increase. They they saw it as an increase in hours. We didn't because we thought well this, this member didn't think it was an increase in hours. I thought we had more than we needed. Yep. We didn't because we were which it begs that it should be done professionally, mm -hmm. in my opinion. It shouldn't be done by someone who may or may not know all the ins and outs of what they're doing. Right. And it also shows that there needs to be consistency. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have someone who's sort of volunteering as that part doing it, that's great, I guess, but mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that they always do it. And if things aren't getting done, things don't get recorded, things don't get on the assessing cards, and then people don't get taxed for improvements they've made to their property. And the converse is if they've torn something down, like a shed or a barn or something, they still get taxed on it, and it, 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 we need to be accurate. Or you just say, oh, it's all town land, because they're not getting taxed anyways. Well, it doesn't belong to the town or the people of Rolliford. It belongs to a completely different organization. Mm -hmm. It means your records aren't accurate. I mean, it's a... Uh, yeah. And, it's, a and it's, not just, it's not just the cemetery. There are other parcels that we've been told about. So it's... Uh, we need to clean all this up. And it can't be one elected official, you, me, you, and it, it should be the people that were paying mm -hmm. to do this. That, so. I, I think my point was, though, earlier, though, is, is you know, if um, the tax collector can assist to yeah. help lower the amount of hours required, it, it, right. I'm talking about not assessing, yep. I'm talking about the, like, the manual, yep. putting yep. building permits with whatever they were they're doing, if that can help, because, I mean, her hours were cut by the previous boards, yeah. And so, you know, if yeah. she has availability, we should think about that. If she if she's willing to, you know, go back up for more hours. But right. I mean, it's not a decision tonight. I'm just saying. But there are things that she can help to... with a land use change tax, yeah. and she's willing to do that. Yeah. Within the sort of the scope of hours she has now, mm -hmm. she's been doing it. Yeah. But um, 
where she can, where mm -hmm. sort of where she's sort of been allowed to do it. Yeah. But yeah, and so she has the capability mm -hmm. for sure and the willingness. So we should oh, that's good. be yeah. utilizing that area of expertise that she has. Yeah, I think so. To make those changes, I would think mm -hmm. she's an employee, so there there can be accountability there too. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't get done, and we're we're expecting her as part of her job description to do that, mm -hmm. then she, that person can be held accountable. Mm -hmm. If it's someone volunteering. You don't know if they did it or if they didn't do it, mm -hmm. because there's no one checking up. So, I mean, that's that's what sort of to me where the breakdown of communication was. I mean, I, yeah. I, I don't know. So it's it needs to get fixed. So, anyways, I would suggest that we go with the with the yearly. It's um, uh, and not the, the five year contract. Um, that way we can um, we can save. We'll save separately for the reevaluation, so we don't have that balloon payment um, in 2022 of $80,000, $80,720. $80, oh, it's the we same should be, the year. Right. Um, for the so if we, if, we, um, if we go the yearly route, we, we just pay the yearly rate, which is the same. Um, and we just don't, um, we don't actually, sorry, we don't have a balloon payment of $75,000. We still have to pay the $5,720. This way we can be saving. So, so is there savings to, to go with a longer term? I said that backwards. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's what Sorry. I meant. That's what I, yeah, sorry, I said it backwards. So if we go the four-year contract assessing and cycle of inspections and full update, as noted above with utilities, mm -hmm. um, it's 90, the full contract amount is 97880 So if we go the uh, one-year... Uh, 2019 contract assessing with all the noted as above what I just read. It's $5,720 a year. So I see what the saving is. Plus $8,720 right. at the end. Right. I was going to say that doesn't sound yeah, Okay. So we have, let's just see, there may be a slight advantage to do it. So we'd have to, with the caveat that you can do a five year contract, but it has to be. Um, Contingent upon funding the other town meeting, because if the town meeting says no, well then it, you can't do it. So for multi-year contracts, mm -hmm. unless you get special permission from them. Mm -hmm. So that's why you have to have that copy in there. So it's okay. So do we we have to pay the um, oh do we have to pay the full amount of ninety-seven thousand eight hundred through the four-year contract? No. We've never, we've never actually done the multi-year. We've always done it yearly. So, but at least since because it's easier to sell a less dollar amount every year than it is to come up with the whole thing in one yeah. year. Yeah. Right. All right. Well, which to your point, Mike, I don't think we're prepared to. All right. But we need to have an assessing company in place. So I would, mm -hmm. I would suggest we go Just with go the, with the, the one year. Mm -hmm. You know, I need a, a motion. I make a motion that we'll go. Will you sign the contract for a year? Oh, you actually know you don't need to because all three of us have to sign. Okay. So we all hang together. <laughs> we have to have a motion when I have to hang separately. So, but Sandy, you're all putting your names down for it. At least one other person has to. Um, we don't have to have a motion because we're all signing it. If you don't want to sign it, you just pass it on back to me. Pass it on to the person on my right and hope for that person signs it. <laughs> then we don't have a company. But we can, that doesn't, this doesn't preclude or if we still want to this spring, if we want to uh, investigate other avenues, right, you can still do that. We are on D, ambulance contract. We finally have it. We've already budgeted for the amount of that. That hasn't changed, we just finally got the language. So I will need a motion, because I think it's just me that signed this one. Yes, so I need a motion to enter into a, a uh, two-year agreement with York Ambulance for the amount of 36000 a year. Yeah, for $36,000 a year. Uh, contingent upon funding via town meeting. 
um, I can make that motion okay. that we enter into an agreement with York Ambulance for a two-year contract at thirty-six thousand a year. Contingent upon approval, funding of Tommy. Contingent upon funding. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I just take yeah. a second to that. Yeah. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Acceptance of Wentworth Road and Pleasant Street. We're going to table this. Um, we we have sent notification to Mr. Stevens, who's our um, acts as our town engineer from um, Civil Consultants over in South Berwick. Um, we have not heard back about his availability to do this okay. um, yet. So we will not act on this until we hear back from him. And if we don't hear back from him, we need to find another consul uh, another civil engineer to go look at. Because I don't feel qualified myself to go look at it. I'll speak for either of you, but... Okay, town administrator job description. Did everyone have a chance to take a look at this this week? I did. All right. So, what do people think? There's a lot in here. There's a lot in here. And the responsibility set or rather essential functions alone. There are 12, right, 12 responsibilities that are are, are pretty lengthy. Um, uh, are the, the, only, the only notes that I, I made were um, I didn't see a section in here about development and review of policies. I'm not even sure if that's something you would want to to pin on the town administrator. Mm -hmm. um, I, I sort of feel like they would at least take a first stab. So what? Okay. You know, personal yeah. policies. And, um, maybe it's covered. Um, no, I don't. I did read this on my phone, so. I don't. I read it again this afternoon. I don't think so. I think it's um, researches, recommends, and provides the board of selectmen. I should say select board. My apologies. Uh, with facts regarding town policies and procedures, okay. finances, departments, contracts, budgets, insurances, and town building maintenance and repair, etc. Implements policies by providing administrative direction to department heads and staff. Okay, it still would be on the select board to um, to authorize policies yep. and to promulgate policies, but um, um, when there needs when when a select board needs assistance in researching or even making if an issue arises to make a recommendation to that board to come up with a policy. Is the way I read this, but um, and that's what I would. Expect. I, mean, I mean, I still think it should be the select board's responsibility so, uh, to do that. And it would. If you, so you go through all the rest of these twelve. It would free up time for boards to take on, take a more active role at meetings to work on things like that, and not go through some of. I mean, some of the stuff that. Um, what we just discussed tonight. So, if we had a town administrator, when we have a town administrator, there will be um, that person will come to the select board and making a recommendation. It's not for the select board to sit here and read all the documents at the meeting. Mm -hmm. To they will, the select board will make the rec will make the actual decision, but there will be information provided. And one of the things for the for the uh, town administrator to do, if you look at number eight, attends all select board meetings and the meetings of other board and commissions as required by the select board to provide input and information back at the select board, both within and outside of the organization, formulates weekly agendas with the select board and provides the select board with pertinent supporting data. 
coordinates and schedules public hearings in accordance with state and local rules and regulations. So you would have um, you would have someone uh, present at the meeting to uh, to uh, discuss and to present information. So the board will be will be reacting to the to the, the most recent and up to date information possible. I think we'll have the ability to ask questions. Um, and not outside of a meeting, but in a televised meeting. We can get this exchange of information for all three members and, and the town administrators, so, which is important that everyone has that information at the same time. Um, any other comments or concerns? I mean, there's a lot in here yeah. that you would be asking of this individual. Well, so. I, you know, I think just, I mean, this is it. This is a really busy job. Yeah. You know, this is what is expected. But also, we should, after a certain period of time when this position has been held, have the right to review and modify Most definitely. as we need to, um, to make sure that it is a, because to me it looks like more than a 40-hour work week, but, um, but it depends. You know, it depends well, that's just on, at certain times of year it may and, be. Exactly, exactly. So, um, it there's a mistake on the front where it says status full time. It should say full time salary. It shouldn't okay. say hourly. Should are say we doing salary? Or are we well, I, that's salary? my suggestion. Oh. I'm, I'm, it shouldn't be an hourly position. It should be a salary position because it is like more than a forty hour a week job. I mean, on certain times of the year, it will be. I mean, during budget season, mm -hmm. the individual will need to attend. Uh, there still would be a, clearly would be a representative from the select board representing the board on the budget committee, but mm -hmm. there were, in most communities, not this one, but in most communities in this day and age that have an administrative, the chief of police doesn't go present his budget to the budget committee. Mm -hmm. The chief of police, the department head, works with the town administrator and comes to the select board and presents a budget. That budget is then presented by the town administrator to the budget committee. It's not up to the police chief, the elected uh, fire chief, to come present his or her budget. It's the town the select board budget that they're sending to the budget grade that then becomes the budget grade budget. It's not the individual department has budget. Mm -hmm. so. But on the flip side of being serving on the budget committee for so many years, mm -hmm. I have to say that having department heads be part of it mm -hmm. is getting your information faster because they should they're be, right they there. should be present. Yeah. They should be present and, yeah. and available to ask answer technical questions. But mm -hmm. it should be a consistent process. Every single person every budget that's presented in my mind, every budget that's presented should be consistent in the same consistent way mm -hmm. by the one person and then if there are technical questions that he or she cannot answer about I don't know, a pumper truck or whatever, mm -hmm. then you have the department had present yeah. to answer those questions. Yeah, because I don't That's think they fun. should not be there. So. But oh, I think no, that, that no, you know, no, but no, I think no. consistency but is this definitely... Should, this is, I mean, these are changes that are long overdue. These are things that, that were, there, there was a lot of, there's been a lot of resistance mm -hmm. over the years to, and I don't know why, I mean, people like to control the flow of information. Mm -hmm. And information shouldn't be controlled. It should, it should, the municipality it should be readily available to everyone. Mm, great. And, 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 and having one individual exercise all the power and control everything is not the way things should be going. There should be professional administrative staff that aids in the running of a community. I mean, it's so that the information can get out to people and not have secret meetings in side rooms where the door is closed. I mean, uh, I wasn't implying that. No, no, not you. Oh, I'm, just oh, saying, okay. I'm just remembering back oh, to. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just think that department you know, heads have a lot. They should be there as well. Most as definitely. A team. Oh, no, no, that's no. no. I, that's not what I, no, okay. I just. Anyways, it's just not you at all. No, I get it. Um, okay, so um, are there other suggestions on, on things that may need to be added to this lengthy list? So, or are there things you think aren't appropriate that should be taken off? No, I think I everything mean, was appropriate. It's just it's so hard to judge if it's a, you know, how much it is. But of course, once you get in, you get someone that's taking on those responsibilities, it's going to, it's going to, 
get better. You but can, you got to do it, you know. But you I just want the right to modify it necessary. In my mind, you should start out with this mm -hmm. as the goal, mm -hmm. and after a uh, probationary period, you can say, "This is what worked well. Mm -hmm. This is what didn't work at right. all. Right. This is where we can make improvements. Right. Perhaps you shouldn't be responsible for this. It should be someone else responsible, mm -hmm. either the board or." You know, we, we, in the proposed budget, we've said that there should be an administrator and, um, and, and a bookkeeper, right. right? So are there certain things that the bookkeeper, admin, administrative assistant should be taking on versus this position? Are there things that this position should be taking on that that person shouldn't have on their plate? I mean, this probationary period will, will, will afford you the opportunity to figure that out. Exactly. Um, you know, and it could be, you know, it all depends on the person who gets hired, that bookkeeper, and the skills that come with that, you know, so. It's, it's yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, there's no, there's no secret formula at the moment. I mean, it, there's, there's, there's targets. Mm -hmm. And whether or not you can, you can, you can make, meet those targets, mm -hmm. or, or you can figure that out over time. Mm -hmm. um, what I would suggest is once the person is brought on board, as part of their their um, their offer of employment, the letter that's mm -hmm. issued to the person, it should say, you know, um, obviously it's contingent upon a probationary period, mm -hmm. and um, and subject to review after at the end of that probationary period to see what worked and what didn't work, and mm -hmm. then whether we need to expand responsibilities, duties, scope of work, or retract some of it. Mm -hmm. yeah, so uh, yeah, I think it's. In the first few years, the opportunity to sort of figure out exactly what works and what doesn't work. I mean, but clearly, what doesn't work is having one individual try to do everything. Right. And and it just doesn't work. It's a good start. Yeah. I mean, Absolutely. It's, uh, it is a place to start. So, do we want? To, so, as we move forward through the through the budget process, people are going to want to know what exactly. Um, we expect from this position. Are we prepared? To, uh, so, first of all, what, one thing we need to fix is this. It shouldn't say hourly, it should be salary. It should say full time salary. So, there's one thing that needs to be fixed. Um, for, uh, is there anything else that people want to change? There's some high. So, on, the, on number nine, I made some changes today um, or yesterday, I don't remember, um, that are different from what was emailed to you. Previously, okay. so it says um, attends conferences, seminars, and meetings relating to municipal management. And I had added um, as directed by the select board. Makes presentations at public meetings and local groups as requested by the select board. I don't. I, I previously it just said makes presentations at public meetings and local groups as requested. Well, it should yep. be at the direction of the select board, not just the, yep. the local group that I want you to come. Well, the person mm -hmm. may or may not have the time. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, it, it really it'd be managed by the by the board in my mm -hmm. mind. So, so that's the only other change from what you saw previously. No, that looks, that looks and we'll good. get an electronic copy that. for the record. Sorry. So, so would you imagine that this position, so purchase orders and things of that nature, go through this person, and it comes out of the hands of the select board, or this person then comes to the select board with a I think they must. Have, I my expectation is that they would have a level of authority, okay. Okay. you know, within the when the department's budgets and because they're going to be right. very deep into the budgets, mm -hmm. and I think that they should um, have a level of authority and not have to come with us for two three hundred dollar. Right. You know, right. even even if it's. Five thousand so or would. whatever it has to be under your capital expense line uh, or your capital. Or something, yeah, we'll uh, you know. But right. I, I'm sure we could agree to an, a dollar amount. But I, it, we don't right. have to as, all of as part of the, um, the, the the purchasing um, policy that we have, we mm -hmm. revise that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So concurrently, department heads can can do um, up to two hundred, two hundred fifty, yeah, um, without. Um, Coming first for a PO, so mm -hmm. that would need just need to be revisited. That's all. So, I mean, so the so the bones are in place 
uh, for, for of the policy. Mm -hmm. We just need to revise it. Mm -hmm. But okay. so it would be so provides administrative direction to all department heads and supervisors, town office clerical bookkeeping and building maintenance staff. Let's see, is there another one that says about uh, thereby uh, um, and building maintenance staff uh, coordinates the work of code enforcement, town attorney assessing, and all other contractor services providers in accordance with town policy and the goals and objectives of the select board, thereby ensuring the quality of the organization's accounting and financial reporting, assessing, and information management function. Um, currently, there isn't one individual charged with all of that. So, and from what we just heard earlier today, what I heard earlier today, and what we heard from chat tonight, that it was a breakdown clearly in the assessing portion. So, um, let's see. Press the miles if it says directly what you're asking. And, and I'm, I'm not sure you can remember. I'm not sure it needs to oh, have. That no, that, that I know for sure. Yeah. But, with this, um, we can we can share this publicly then. That this is the, the work, the document we're working off of. Mm -hmm. What we'd like to see as um, responsibilities uh, that would go along with um, hiring someone in this position. And I think it it, it shows um, one the level of the complexity of the position, uh, but also I think illustrates why the position is. Uh, is, is needed. Um, there's 12, in my mind, 12 very good reasons as to why this position is long overdue. You know, we'll just have to read through it and see. Mm -hmm. It's not, um, it, it, there's, there's a lot. There may be more here than one person can actually handle. Yeah, and that's what we'll figure out. Kind so. of what pops into my head is this, yeah. this is doable. But. Right, and like I said, it just needs to be re revisited mm -hmm. after a certain period, maybe three months, and then six months, or. Whatever, well, that can be know? right. That can be part of the the, the offer letter, right? Right. We say we we we'll do a review on three, six, nine, and mm -hmm. twelve months. Mm -hmm. Just and to make that, sure that's that what should happen. You know, the other nice part of this being the reviews. Um, I think it's in here about reviewing um, with department heads. Um, there are departments that don't get reviews. Mm -hmm. uh, the police, currently, the police department is the only department that has a process by which employees mm -hmm. are reviewed mm -hmm. on an annual basis. And all the employees should go through an annual mm -hmm. review process. And there are, yeah, there are folks that um, have wondered why um, why it hasn't happened in the past because there isn't a policy. Place for it. So that will be one of the functions of uh, making sure that that actually starts to happen. So, and that's likely we have to work with all the policies. Mm -hmm. But we have a, a, a way to start doing that. So, anyways, so are we comfortable then with um, yep. uh, publicizing this? There are, there are several places where it says Board of Selectmen. So it's changed. Change yeah. change. yeah. All right, right so why don't I go back? I'll, I'll, yes, I'll go back and change that. Some of them say Board of Selectmen, some say Select Board. Yep. I can change that. So, yep. All right. Now we can send this off and then uh, revisit it again at the first of the year. But I wanted us to at least have uh, going into the new year with something um, to be working on. For. So, change to select. Review. So I worked on the, um, the request of the um, Joint Loss Committee having a tobacco-free policy. And this is what we've come up. I've come up with it's uh, policy 2018-01. Um, just read it. It's not that lengthy. The purpose of this policy is to protect the health, safety, and comfort of employees and visitors. Uh, the town of Rawlins would recognize that tobacco use is the single most preventable cause of death and disease in the United States. The Environmental Protection Agency has classified secondhand smoke 
as a class A carcinogen, a substance known to cause cancer in humans for which there is no safe level of exposure. Therefore, the town of Rollinsford has designated the following areas as tobacco-free areas. Town Hall, Police Department, Fire Department, Highway Department, and Transfer Station, and the property on which they are located. Um, I didn't put public library because we don't own that property, but I would suggest if we're going to adopt this policy, we forward it on to the Board of Library Trustees so they can initiate uh, a similar policy working with the, with the, uh, the property owner that they rent from. Okay, um, definitions. Uh, remember, I didn't create all of this myself. This yeah. was, <laughs> I worked off what was submitted by the Joint Laws Committee. Um, definitions. Property means facilities curb to curb, including offices, grounds, adjacent sidewalks, parking lots, ramps, town-owned vehicles, and employees' vehicles parked on town-owned property. Tobacco product means any product that is made from or derived from tobacco or that contains nicotine that is intended for human consumption or is likely to be consumed, whether smoked, heated, chewed, absorbed, dissolved, inhaled, or ingested by any other means, including but not limited to a cigarette, a cigar, a hookah, pipe tobacco, chewing tobacco, snuff or snooze. Tobacco product also means electronic smoking devices and any component or accessory used in the consumption of a tobacco product, such as filters, rolling papers, pipes, liquids used in electronic smoking devices, whether or not they contain nicotine. Tobacco product does not include drugs, devices, or combination products authorized for sale by the U.S. Department of Food and Drug Administration, as those terms are defined in the Federal Food and Drug and Cosmetic Act. In other words, if they have like a nicotine patch because they're trying to quit smoking, mm -hmm. that is a lie. Uh, procedures. No use of any tobacco product shall be permitted on the grounds or within the facilities of the town of Rollinsford mentioned. Employees shall not use tobacco products of any kind while on duty or while in a town-owned vehicle or while on their personal vehicle while on town property. Employees and visitors will be informed of the town of Rollinsford tobacco-free policy through signs posted in all affected locations. Um, that would be similar to what the school has. Mm -hmm. and we don't have to recreate the wheel. Um, uh, town of Rollinsford will assist employees who want to quit smoking by helping them access smoking cessation, I should say tobacco cessation programs and materials. Uh, any visitor violating this policy will be asked to discontinue use. Any visitor who is unwilling to discontinue use will be asked to leave and is subject to law enforcement notification. Any employee violating this policy will be subject to the established disciplinary procedures. Uh, signed into effect on uh, December 17, 2018 by board select select board. So, what do we need to edit? Besides the fact that it should say tobacco products, not smoking. Cessation. It should say tobacco cessation. I think it's good. Again, this is from the Joint Loss Committee. This is what they would like to see. Well, I just changed it to, to modernize some of it. I mean, the bones are all what they had, not so, one point of clarification, if an employee is smoking in their car and pulls up to come to work, I should probably put it out. They, they can put it out when they're parked in the parking lot, uh, and I don't want to split yeah. hairs here, but what, what, they, what they don't want to see is employees going out and sitting in their car and then okay. coming that's back ex in. That's exactly what that is. So, I didn't change that, that was what they believe what they had. I don't, I'm not sure what town they got it from, but I just, I updated um, uh, what a tobacco product is. Uh, this is now the, sort of the, the standard definition these days. It's always subject to change, but, um, and what else did I change? Clearly I didn't change the smoking cessation program. I meant to say tobacco cessation program. That was what they suggested. Um, I added, um, uh, if someone's unwilling to discontinue use, that they'll be asked to leave. I mean, that's, they didn't have that. They just said they would be asked cursely. <laughs> they would be asked nicely to discontinue use. Like, well, of course that's the goal. They would be asked nicely to discontinue use, but if they're unwilling to do that, there has to be another step. Mm -hmm. And that's to contact law enforcement mm -hmm. if they refuse to leave. And that's, uh, there was a question as to whether or not we should include town parks. Um, we are empowered to um, to do this on uh, uh, by a town facilities like uh, the town hall and places like that. Outdoor, we are empowered to do that, but um, 
we should go to uh, on the war. So, because we're not a we're not a council or a select board, so we need to do that that would need to go to town meeting. Um, why we're allowed to say you can't smoke inside the police department and not uh, inside the town park? I don't know, but just mm -hmm. go by what I'm told by the municipal association. All right, so is there anything else we need to change? We can check something off for the, uh, for the, uh, for the Joint Laws Committee. All right, so then what I would suggest is we make this change to say uh, tobacco cessation program. That's on the second page. Mm -hmm. um, and have a public hearing. I think we should. Do you have to have a public hearing? We don't have to, but I think we should. Okay. I just think it's right. But, um, so. Probably should send it to um, all uh, department heads as well, just to make sure that. Well, they're all, they're all represented on the joint loss committee. And they're the ones that came up with it. So uh, I can send it back to them so they can take a look at it. No, I'm just thinking, okay, so I don't know how many firefighters smoke. I don't know how many transfer station people smoke. I mean, they, right. they need to I don't know. make Jeez. sure that they have the right tools to be able yep. to tell these people that they I can no, no longer smoke on town property. I agree. And define property. You know, like the fire station, is property on the grass? Is it property yep. in the cemetery thing? Or is it just the pavement and... Curb okay. to curb, including no curbs up there. Offices, ground, adjacent sidewalks, parking lots, ramps, town vehicles, and their own vehicle if they're in the parking lot. But I'm just, just throwing yeah, it out here. But so heading towards the softball field, that's that's cemetery man. Yep. Yeah. Is that also part of it? That property is governed by the cemetery board of trustees. So, so uh, that's also that's only my point. That's the only yeah, and that's the only my only yeah, point uh, because it's that that building is the only one that I said that this kind of iffy area is because then this the grass over by where the big rock is and you know they have a well that might be easier to solve because well on, on the rock side if that's town property they're not allowed to be in. Okay. So, but on the cemetery side, I think they already have a sign that says posted, no, uh, no tobacco use there. Okay. Pretty sure I saw that mm -hmm. driving by this summer. I thought I saw it. Okay. Because there was some, there was someone smoking on in the inside part of the fence while the kids were doing batting practice or something. And I thought, okay, well, it wasn't like a, I don't know if it was a coach, but they weren't. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like it looked like it was just like a. a a father and daughter, mm -hmm. out there doing it. It wasn't like it looked like an organized thing. I don't know, but then I saw the giant uh, with well, the sign that said "No smoking." I thought, well, clearly that person can't read, mm -hmm. um, or just chose to ignore it. But, but again, okay, it's I not just, ours, so yeah, yeah. it's up to the cemetery trustees. Other than that, I'm good with it. Okay, so we should send it off, and we'll let the joint loss committee know that we're going to do this. So then, you're, what you're going to do is you're going to get it modified, and then we sign it. At the next meeting, or after we have a public hearing? Oh, after a public hearing. Okay. Let's see. Um, it's not going to be New Year's Day. I'll tell you that much. Um, let's see if we can get it scheduled for the what's today? What's the time? The fourteenth of January. Just coming at six. For a public hearing here. Oh, you're going to put it on the same day? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm not done. Yep.
joint loss folks that asked for this will come and tell us exactly why they uh, why it's necessary. All right, so six o'clock on January fourteenth. Put that bag or that back to you so we I'll make it that there was an edit. to do an open house and look at equipment and understand what, what the fire chief's asking for. Okay. So he's going to be available to answer questions. He's going to be there as well as some of his staff. Okay. Okay. Yep. I, I will I am planning to be there. Okay. okay, so will you be there as well? I shall. Okay. I think that would be four nights this week. <laughs> 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 All right, so if that's going to be the case, I'm going to have Caroline notice it. Um, it's going to be two select board members there. There will be a majority of the board present at that Sunday. But we're we not making any file. decisions, though. Yeah, but we're oh, okay. Still, All right. It's not here. a meeting, though, for us. It's just a being together, potentially. I mean, one thing, if we all go to the breakfast, and that wasn't coordinated. Okay. I mean, we just happened to show up and that. I mean, I don't call you all the time going to have pancakes. And no, yeah, I, yeah. But you may be there because yeah. your pancakes are there and you want to have breakfast with them, too. So that is different than does that have to be posted uh, as an open house for the budget committee? Yes, it should be. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> okay. If there's a majority of them there, then yeah. Post. Indeed. Um, and I've got historical committee tomorrow night here at 7. But we're going to meet over in the, the side room because you'll all be here for the um, space needs meeting. Um, did anyone break back to Karen? And or, or yep, I did. Oh, okay. And let her know that. Uh, and so when she went to write the article about um, oh, the deer, the deer the res ice deer. rescue, mm -hmm. um, I sent an e I forwarded her request on to Mark, and Mark obviously responded because he was in the article. So yeah. But she had a deadline and couldn't reach anyone. Okay. That's because that's they're all working. So. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I responded to her. And Mark said, I've already responded. And she already interviewed me. Oh, okay. Well, okay, well, great. Um, what else? Okay. Building permits. Do I call them? I have the building permits. Um, looks like one. A lot of other stuff. Yep. So, building permits. Um, 432 Portland Ave. Dover rental. So it's Dover. I mean, it's a permit number what? Permit uh, two, 2018 112. Okay, so it's. Okay, so permit 2018 112 432 Portland Ave. What are they doing? Alterations, it says. Oh, it's um, uh, to do with a gas line. Okay. Mr. Clark has reviewed it. It's a thirty-five dollar fee for what they're what are they swapping out the tanks? All right, okay. All right, well, it's a thirty-five dollar thirty-five dollar fee, I guess. Okay. 
Okay. The purchase order 1578. Make a motion. Um, it's to digital. I don't know. Can you read what that word says? Ink. Ink. Digital so. ink. Okay. For. <laughs> doesn't look like no. that to me, but. Salome seems to know. Four hundred eighty dollars for uh, six boxes of town window yeah. envelopes. Yeah, for sure. But that doesn't look like the word ink, but whatever. Oh, um, for envelopes. Yep. For town envelopes. I'll second it. Okay. A first order fifteen seventy has been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Right. Get more envelopes. Okay. I'll move purchase order uh, 1567 to the Rollins Street Post Office in the amount of 197.58 for every door direct mailing delivery of senior interest survey to all mailing addresses of the appeal boxes in the town zip code. I'll explain that. Second. Okay. So this is the. Um, the uh, recreation committee has budgeted a couple three hundred dollars, right? Yeah, to do um, outreach to seniors uh, to see if uh, interest in um, this was budgeted last year. We're getting it under the wire here from this year um, uh, to, uh, to do um, a survey of, um, of what they'd like to see for options for rec uh, for the rec department to offer to seniors. So it's not just the kids. Okay, so purchase order. So that's what it's for. Purchase order 1567 has been moved and seconded. All those are Any other discussion? What was the move? Uh, 197.58. Is that the originator has any comment? Um, um, you might want to consider the next one from REC at the same time. Okay. Well, we got to do it. So, uh, purchase order 1566 to Staples in the amount of $198 for 600 of the community. Okay, so which is. But then that's too much money. And that's too much money. So we've already moved. Um, all right, why don't you rescind your, uh, your, your motions of, of uh, move? 1567. We'll do 1566 first. How's that? Uh, okay. Uh, what, what is that going to buy? Well, they're not going to. Why would we, we're not going to pay for postage if we're not going to pay for the postage? Right? Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> so so I'd say uh, rescind my motion on and your second. My second. Okay. So why don't we start? We'll start with it. Okay. We can have the conversation that way. I didn't realize there was two of them. Uh, I moved purchase order 1566. <clears throat> to Staples for $198 for 600 community senior citizen survey. Second. Okay. So, my first question why are we going to Staples and not going to BMB printing that always gives us a better rate than Staples? That's my first question. Mm -hmm. But it's okay to announce seeing that it was a volunteer that is doing this for us and may not have known. That's okay. That answers that part of the question for me. Okay. So, you've moved and you've seconded. So, this is my suggestion. We can, um, we can authorize, we can vote to authorize up to the 198, which is like 200, for, for the purchase order. And we can ask that we, if it's cheaper, we can ask that it be done at a, it would be done at a B and B, that they are cheaper. What is this? Can we explore in-house printing? We could do that too. Hold on a second. Yes, something. Oh, there was. What's that? Oh, yeah. I mean, we can. We have that wonderful printer here. Does cardstock? Okay. Oh, I'm yes, sir, yeah. Um, I was directed by the local postmaster 
to check with Staples because they have the printing sizes and a whole packet of information gotcha. based on what every door direct mailing requires. requires. And they could put the postage on for us at that point. However, for us to do the every door direct mailing to them would be five hundred and twenty to five hundred and fifty dollars based on our need. So that puts us even further over budget. We are willing to look into other options, like, but um, that's why we went to Staples. Where are you getting the number six hundred? Um, just based on th there may be. I'm not sure if it's on there. Um, Staples said the easiest thing to do, one of the paper sizes that every door direct mailing can be, is a eight is a four and a half four and a quarter by eleven. So it's an eight and a half sheet of paper cut down the middle. And the simplest way for them to print it and the cheapest print is for them to print six hundred and cut them down the middle. Then you have 1,200, and you have 1,110 mailboxes and addresses to the town of Bronsbury. Oh, and then you have um, the ones on Cowan and like Mary Street that are Somersworth and Dover addresses that we could hand deliver, and we would have those. So they're not all necessarily senior citizens. Like it would they're be. Going to every they're going to every door because we do not know which addresses have senior citizens at them. Cheaper. So, this would be my suggestion. You can authorize them. I mean, the post office is the post office. That's what's going to cost. We already know that. We already got that from the postmaster, and Kevin. He's told it's going to cost. Uh, there's an attachment there that, ha that he signed off on right. the price. Right. Okay. So, uh, we, um, the town, um, typically uses B and B because we got a better rate and she's well acquainted with um, every door direct as well. Mm -hmm. So I can look into them if we have an amount that I can go up to. The rec committee did meet on Sunday and took a vote on putting these purchase orders in. Right. And their suggestion was the motion made I brought a copy of it for the board. Um, by one of the chairs was to move ahead with it um, and take the $300 from the senior line and possibly $100 from our winter budget line, which we will not fully expend. Okay. I'm not worried about finding that dollars but thank you. I appreciate it. And the other discussion that we had was to possibly do part of it this year, do the printing now and the mailing later, but there was concern about... Uh, a clean budget starting in 2019. Are you worried about finding hundred dollars on the budget? No, but what I'm worried about is is taking the advice from the postmaster about where to print them. Yeah. Okay. I think we need to do the best that we can do right. financially. So I would definitely look into B and B because that's where a lot of stuff comes from here, as well as campaign things and and those uh, kind of things. So I would double check it before you. Staples is one of the highest in the area. Right. Yeah. So exactly. and. So. You know, he's just looking for. Hey, we appreciate you doing. You know. your, uh, we appreciate yeah. you, you did the legwork, and yeah. thank you for that. So, yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you you volunteer doing this, and we do appreciate it. But honestly, they are more expensive. Than yeah. yeah, we've gotten lots of things printed over the years, and and Michelle at B and B has always been the the fairest price in the area. Mm -hmm. so, and so we can certainly look into B and B. I can do that this week. Yeah, right. I'd say not to, to exceed price would be what I would do for the book. To if comment. you tell her that that. The, that um, she will meet or exceed. She always does. Yeah, she just always does. So, and plus we're supporting a local business, so which is always nice. Um, all right. So this is what I want to say.
them, well, please check with uh, prices with B&B &B printing first. Mm -hmm. So um, we have a uh, purchase order 1566 was moved and seconded mm -hmm. um, in the amount of up to $198. Um, so we just ask that you check with uh, B &B first before you actually go to Staples. Um, any other discussion? Yeah. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Move again, 1567, and the amount of 197.58. So we've Second. Okay. That goes back. I don't know why, but it goes in that one. All right, any discussion about the printing? I mean, the, the, the posted. Mm -hmm. That one, I think. All right, 1567, moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. So thank you, Celia, for doing all this running around. It's, oh, no problem. And I think it's important that, um, just from our perspective, that um, we have a little more diversity in what the Recreation Department offers in town. So thank you for doing that. Okay. I say it, that as someone who takes advantage of the children's fees and things, but it's important that other folks in town also have opportunities. All right. Okay. And thank you for providing the, uh, the minute meetings. Yeah. What else we got? Inventory penalties. Uh, Garrison players is exempt. Yes, from they are. Yep. Yes, they're, they're a nonprofit. They're exempt. We will abate them back their amount of $10. Oh. Well, we'll all have to sign it. So we all three of us sign it, so we don't have to. We don't need a motion. If two of us don't sign it, it doesn't happen. Did we vote last week, though? All right, can I have a motion? I, don't know, I will have to be consistent. Uh, a motion to um, abate garrison players the amount of $10 against their property taxes for inventory penalty. Well, this is the inventory penalty. That's not, that's their inventory form that they didn't fill out. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Why would they have to fill out an inventory form? Nobody lives there. <laughs> they, well, that's a, that's, they, well, they don't have to fill it out because they're a non profit. But they also don't live there. They do not, no. It's a, that was an error, I would think. Yeah, that's why we're, we're going to obey that. Oh, there. oh okay. But okay. we need a motion to, to do that. I make a motion that we reverse Garrison Play as the $10 for um, inventory penalty that they shouldn't have. And receive. Second. Okay. So yeah, it says on a garrison players is exempt as a 503C and should not have received a PA-28 form. All right, so it's been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. I don't remember voting on these last week, but I don't know. it's also it's very late in the day. I don't know. Uh, maybe let's just sign it. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. One no more. suspended, apparently. <laughs> Uh, Louise Treadwell uh, indicated on her tax bill that she had sent in the form, but we don't have record of receiving it. So move that we suspend the inventory, inventory penalty of $45. Oh, that was $45. Check the cash on it. Yeah, you should always check the cash flow. Wow. Mine well, already got paid by escrow, so I don't even, I didn't, wasn't on there actually to check. I remember turning mine in and hand delivered it um, when it was hand delivered to me. Um, okay, all those in favor of abating um, the penalty to Ms. Treadwell in the amount of $45, say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. I'm not sure they could second it. Sorry. Did you second it? I'll second Okay. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. That's it? All right. Okay, I have a um, invoice uh, that needs approval for organi annual organizational support donation $200 for the Southeast Watershed Alliance. So, why don't we, you're moving, you want to second, we can talk about it. I'm moving it. Yeah. Seven. Okay. So we received an email about this. They um, so these folks work with um, 
work with um, the um, other group, the um, Seacoast um, Wastewater Alliance uh, that we, we're a member of. They developed the, um, the software that uh, we're using to um, help with filling out the um, MS-4, apparently. So they would like to know if we would support them with a $200 um, uh, donation. It's $200, not $300. $200. 200 So um, is there any uh, discussion as to, I mean, I'm going to look at the meeting again. Purchase order one five six five for doodle bugs. Um, this is for twenty six fused glass ornaments. Uh, it was a program that they did down at doodle bugs for recreation department. Um, the payment that is it's coming out of the grant money that was left over. Oh, this okay. is the other enrichment type class that they're gotcha. putting on yep. for two hundred and sixty dollars, and it happened yesterday or there, Friday. There two it was one. Friday and, and yesterday. So. Second, so it's paid for out of a grant. Well, there was a grant that had the remaining money, yeah. and that's where they spent the yeah, money. So it's so not coming out. And it's gone. Town right? funds. It, there was no. eight dollars left. There's eight left. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So first order 1565 has been moved and seconded. Any other discussion? All right. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. All right. Thank the generous folks that gave the grant, and the nice people that do the work. those that actually went out to get the grant. So this is a letter from Casa. They're just thanking us for our donation and sending us our receipt. Um, we've sent them yes. um, 500, I think. I think so, yeah. It's one of our um, 500. Yep. organizations that we uh, are part of our um, this was a letter um, uh, Caroline, had, I think, had sent us a heads up on this. This is from uh, the Robert Half. This is a uh, temp agency oh. informing us that their rates are going up by 1% um, effective January 5th. So, um, but she had kind of, did, did, oh, do we need to take action on that proposal that she was, did you read her email? No, what was I reading? No, I don't remember. I think she was just telling us how much it was going to be for and our right, increase. We weren't going to go over into the new year. We weren't going to right. we weren't going to go past the certain deadlines, so it shouldn't affect it the shouldn't, budget. Yeah, because yeah. What well, we had, what we had originally done. So okay. All okay. right, and that's okay. So it's just like an FYI. Yes. All right, and then um, we have a contract here to be signed. I don't know if you want to read this off first or whatever, but this is Dumais and Perlin. So the public accounting, what their understanding is of what they're going to do with the audit um, at the year end, December 31st. So do you want to read it before you sign it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so 
Happy reading. Thanks. Okay. It typically doesn't change from year to year. Yeah, but and there's a copy in there as well. Uh -huh. so. transportation to you, letting you know of an upcoming highway safety project to improve safety on the roadway curves. Have you read this? Oh. oh. Do you want me to read it? Sure. Oh, okay. The curve sign project will be on state roads in your municipality as well as state roads in all towns and cities in New Hampshire DOT Maintenance District 6. The same safety improvement is being implemented statewide. The New Hampshire DOT will design and install curve signs. And so what's a chevron? It's, a, it's an arrow. Oh, okay. Based on the, okay. Based on the measurements taken while driving each curve, only those curves meeting certain criteria will be signed. This is required by the Federal Highway Administration. Most importantly, providing appropriate curve warning signs is a proven safety improvement to reduce runoff of the road craft. Reduce runoff of the road crashes, which disproportionately results in serious injuries and fatalities on roadway curves. So, if there's sharp so, corners, they're going to put up a sign. Yeah. And yeah. Then the chevrons on the road. Okay. Most of the signs will will be installed in 2019. So it's probably the wrong time of year to try to put a sign up or paint the road. But yeah. Yeah. So, I that's know? just like I find. I find oh, well, thank you. DOT. Yeah. Um, okay. Michael again. Oh, okay. Um, notify the Town of New Hampshire Department of Transportation is developing a safety improvement project on state-owned roadways in Rollinsford. Oh, good. Work along Rollins Road to Summers with Main Street, Silver Street, New Hampshire Route 4, and Roberts Road include removal, replacement, and or installation of our horizontal curve signing along. Oh, just kind of pride following up on that. The intent of this project to increase motor safety on state-owned roadways throughout the town. Proper signing will aid in the reduction of motor, motorist speeds and crashes along curbs, which is kind of just saying Rather the same thing. Rather than have thing. a track light at the corner. Yeah, I know. On Avenue and Robert's Road, but okay. Um, saying, so what okay, so including it as part of the transmittal are two copies of the Municipal Work Zone Agreement where that all municipalities are asked to sign as an acknowledgement that the department will have the authority to control traffic through the work zone and duration of the project. Uh, on so, that road now? Yeah. So they're looking for a Yeah. Okay. Let's just let us know that they'll have flaggers out there. Yeah. Right. Oh, well, thank you. We don't really have uh... That's not replacing the project that, of the UNH students came in and talked. No, I mean, that's just there's several idea roads that are working. Yeah. Several, I, guess, so. I know. I 
Bob was copied on it as well. So. Thank you for the signs. And Chevron. That is all I have. All right, well, let's go home. Thank you all for coming. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. We'll see you on January 3rd. Woohoo! Mm.